state officers, 14 billion. And uh, the president is not there. The ministers are not there. The cabinet is not there. Nurses are in the street. We have a problem. We are hungry. You don't look at them. You start preparing the stage for, for people who are not characters who are not there. The unexpected turn of the life of Abdu Badida, a man who courageously and boldly went for the presidential candidacy of our beloved country, has left many in shock. Abdu Badida, who went for the presidential candidacy twice, is currently serving a seven-year sentence in the United States. Abdu Badida Mohammed is currently in prison for stalking and threats. He was charged on two accounts. The first account was stalking and threats, which gained him a two-year sentence. And the second account was aggravated stalking, yani stalking too much and violation of a restraining order. It is not exactly clear who he was stalking. The person remains unidentified and not many details have been revealed about his case. We know, however, that he was sentenced in November 18, 2022 and is currently at the Madi Correctional Center. The name Abdu Badida became a sensation back in 2013 when he decided to run for presidency. And of course, this was at a time where there, there were heavy political figures already running. We had Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. So he was a fresh face and hence received a lot of attention. He managed to garner 54,000 votes in that year's elections and in 2017 he, he ran again for presidency and managed to get 38,000 votes. After his second run, he sort of disappeared and we don't know much about his life then until the point where his legal troubles began. Even though we don't know much about how his life was going during that period in between his second run and the moment he got into prison. We now have a full picture of his situation currently. He has apparently been going to the court claiming that he has been denied some constitutional rights, including the rights to practice his religion, um, medical attention as well, and he cites or claims that his health has been deteriorating since he was convicted in the correctional center. He has also claimed that he has been denied job opportunities and access to educational programs. These claims were, however, dismissed by the courts. Mohammed Abdu Badiba is currently volunteering as an imam at the correctional center and is set to be released on the 3rd of April 2029. What I will do, yes. what I will do, <laughs> that is cost effective, yes. uh, my government will come up with what we call preventive medicine. A simple policy that every Kenyan should test, and this is in philosophy and religious studies, if you want to be healthy, eat when you're hungry. Mm. This timetable, I don't know who brought it, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then the dinner you come up with, phase one where you take soup and mushroom, and then phase two, phase three, that what, is, what will that you is do? What if you want you to be saved from yes. corrupt leaders, mm -hmm. if you want to be saved from, from corrupt leaders, you adapt preventive medicine. Principle number one, eat when you feel the pangs of hunger. Number two, when you feel the pangs of hunger, don't fill your belly with food. You eat every gatheri and then there is no space for water. You need to give a third water, a third food, and then a third breathing space. This story was intriguing for me because it gives us a clear picture of how unpredictable life is. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section what you think about this story. And always give it here on BNN for more updates.